This video is to demonstrate how to install debugging tools for Windows. It's based on a tutorial by Golden which we will go look at now. Everything we do here can be found in Golden's tutorial. This is a file you want to download to install debugging tools. Of course, I already have it. We're going to speed up the download progress, but everything else you see is in real time. The first command changes to the directory. The second command associates dump files with debugging tools. If successful, we will get a notification a blank instance of the debugging tools will open. Now we have to tell it to create a folder to save the symbols we need and where to download them from. Now we're going to open it up just to make sure it saved it, and then we're going to open up a dump file to make sure it works. Uh, 
Okay, it saved it just like we wanted to. Now we're going to go to 10 forms and we're going to open up a dump file to make sure it works. We told it to create a folder to store the dump files, but I want to show you that it's not there yet. It'll create the folder when we open the first dump file. Okay, now let's open the dump file. You'll notice it'll start reading the dump file and it'll progress to the point to where it says follow up by machine owner. That's the point where you know it's finished. Now I'd like to show you that the white work window is completely separate from the debugging tools window. You can move it around, enlarge it, place it anywhere you'd like it. And it doesn't affect the debugging tools window. Now let's go back and make sure it created the symbols cache folder. Okay, it did create the folder. Now we can look at the symbols needed to read the file, the dump file. And we have now installed and configured debugging tools for Windows.